Hey, this is Mike with Drumline. I'm with Xavier Fudge, who's also known as Little Rockstar. And someday you're gonna be a big rock star, but right now you're in the little stage. But uh, talk about stages you've been on quite a few. So who have you played with? Mushroom Head. Mushroom Head? That's amazing. And they're playing tonight? Yes. At Pops? Yes. In St. Louis? Yes. So what, what do you do when you go on stage with the band? I get a little freaked out. You get freaked out? <laughs> what I really want to do is get on the drums and beat them. Yeah, so you're psyched. When I get like 14, maybe I get to play the big drums. So how did you learn the parts? A 43. Yeah. I just learned how to play. You just what did you listen to the record and uh, and learn the song and then practice with the band? Mom started a Facebook page. So mom, mom, mom is mom the one that got you into music, or was mom was mom play a musical instrument? Yeah, she plays a guitar. On oh, okay. Do you guys jam together? Nah. Nah. Not so much. I teach the beats on your drums. Mom teaches the beats. Okay, so. Uh, Dad listens. To the, Dad is the music influence. Okay, here's my impression of you. Okay, I saw you on YouTube, and I said that kid, you know, he knows the part, but he's got that performance aspect. So he is like a little rock star, you know, because it's not just playing, but it's like the follow through and the attitude and the facial expression. You know what I mean? The performance aspect. So you got that down. Like, you can't really teach that. So is that something natural for you? You feel it? You can talk about that a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, you can say more than one word. Oof. Yes in the Mushroom Head. So Mushroom Head is kind of like a, a pretty heavy band. You like the heavy bands? Yes. Okay. On, You're, okay. On, on Damage Done, that one, I missed a little part on first. Uh-oh. Did you just plow right on through, though? Is that what they teach you? They just keep playing if you mess up. Hello. This is Avery's mom, who's responsible for him rocking out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, moms, give me a lot of love and support. That's great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dad gives a lot of love and support too, though, right? Yeah, does too. Yeah. Dad's not as big of a rocker, but... Oh, no, no, no. He's... he's... Oh, Dad is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you were little, Eddie Bitty, your dad's been bouncing you on the hip, listening to metal music, huh? And then I just help you with the music aspect of it. Did That's you say, it did, did you say, Mom, Dad, can I play drums or something, like when you're one or two, or... How did that? I, I, I said, yeah, I remember. Do you remember I, when you were one? I, <laughs> I, when I was two, I got my first set. Uh-huh. And, and sometimes I get mom's bowls out. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Some kids and, do that. And some spoons that I play on so, them. Was that the beginning or? Uh, Since he was about old enough to call. Okay, so you got the bowls and spoons out like a lot of kids did. Yeah. And then mom just said, that's enough. Time for the drums, because yep. you're going to persist with this. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of all the, the, the pan rackets. You play like kind of a single drum on stage tonight, right? I mean, kind of, a, kind of an accent drum, helping the main drummer with the B. Yes. And then, but you also play an entire drum set, yes. which you're studying now and learning how to do that. So is this something you want to do for uh, when you grow up? Because you're already grown up for a little kid. I well, mean, I'm eight. You're eight. I know. That's pretty grown up. You're doing grown up rock and roll, so. Last time we get I last time we were playing in Mushroom Head before the show I got to play the big drums. You got to play the big drums. I got to play the, skinny stuff. The whole kit. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you play a whole song with the, the big kit? No. Mm -hmm. Were you playing during the show with the big kit? No, but when you got Mom to play them. said when I get older I could. Oh, okay. Maybe. Is that something you want to do? Yes. What other he brands do you like? Happy E. At BE. So did you uh, develop your makeup and stuff? I saw your makeup and you kind of, did you design that? Or? That's a question for mom. Mom, yeah, that mom does that. Uh, well, the first time we came here for his first concert ever was the Mushroom Head Show. So uh, he, you know, I just thought, well, we'll put some makeup on him and he'll love it. And every time he's done a show, we change the makeup up each time. So something oh, okay. Like, yeah. Damn, it's so, done when I was so, man. Yeah, last, when he played here in February, he was, he had J-Man face on, uh, face paint. Oh, okay. For Damage Done. And then when we went to Cleveland, which we just were there, so for the Halloween show, it was, uh, uh, uh over the, the new mask they have. Okay. So I kind of mimicked their new mask. Okay. Be not, you know, too little for a mask, so. Okay. So when you put that makeup on, does it make you feel powerful or mm -hmm. kind of get in character or is it? Get in character. Get in you character. You said it. Because you're putting on a show, right? And you know it, so you're performing, and people are digging it, man. I saw the I saw the YouTube. I get to see it live today, so I'm looking forward to it. I was excited to meet you. 
Oh, I want to. Here's my question. You finally you're, you're, got it. I know. I finally remember what I'm supposed to be talking about. <laughs> it's not so easy sometimes. So you gotta, you know, be practicing the drums and I forget. I keep forgetting. I keep you, forgetting. Yeah, you just gotta keep <laughs> pushing. Anyway, I'm writing a bigger story, and it's on kids, you know. And so, do you see some? You know, there's a lot of talented kids today. But do you see some of the kids on YouTube? Yeah. And Mom do, is there anything you me, like? Some of that. Mm -hmm. Mom showed me a one. And he had a big set. Was it Avery? Avery drummer? Avery, that gets yeah. good. Definitely a very talented drummer. Yeah, he's like seven or something. He's a little bit younger than Xavier. You guys look yeah. a little bit alike. Watched, actually, oh. one recent one we watched was about an eight-year-old girl who played yeah. the drums, too. Yeah, that was a, a great link I shared on his page. Every Monday, I, I'll okay. feature Mushroom Head and oh, okay. things from the band and pictures, videos, things that the fans for his for his page send in that's Mushroom Head related, mass collections, things like well, that. Well, you got interviewed by an, an online drum magazine. We're not in print. We're, we're online, yeah. so you probably want to be a modern drummer or something someday, but what do you think about this? You, cool. It's cool? Yes. You haven't seen my work yet, but it's still cool. Well, you watched the interview you, with Little Dan. Oh, you watched the interview? Yeah, he Some watched that one we did. when Marilyn Manson okay. was here, so, and, and so Dan was second. So, so we're hip, I guess. Mm-hmm. Do we get the LRS uh, seal of it? Do people ever call it LRS for... No. Okay. No, they call him LRS because they don't know his real name, but they will now, but that's okay. <laughs> But El Elleris. Elleris. yeah, so. But uh, do we get the, uh, we get your seal of approval because you appeared in our magazine? Yes. Well, or maybe not. Yes. He's not endorsing us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so go like this. Yes. Success. Well, we were psyched to meet you because, uh, yeah, Daniel Fox told us about you. And uh, I saw you on YouTube and then talked to your mom and I get to see you perform. So that's fantastic. It's awesome, huh? I wanted to flip sticks. sticks. You want to flip sticks? Well, you're seven. I started playing a little bit later. So. I'm eight. You're eight. You want hey. full credibility for your right. age. Yes, hey, you're eight. I'm sorry. I, uh, you look seven, but no, I'm just kidding. You play like you're 20. Unfortunately, I'm not 20. I'm you're not 20, eight. You're, you're eight. So you just want to own the eightness of yourself. Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a kid and I'm good, but I'm, I'm still only eight. Don't, don't rush it. You're my youngest. Uh, no, I got it. Well, I interviewed a nine year old kid I got to be friends with. And uh, he'll be in the story with you. So I got to interview you, though. That 90-year-old with a few kids, I, I want to know your name. <laughs> you yeah. want to know the other kid I interviewed? Maybe yes. you'll see it in the video. Oh, uh, Cole. Cole uh, Smith. Oh, cool. He plays in the original band in California. And uh, the cool thing about him was, hey, it's a good segue. The cool thing about him was there was a drum circle, okay? There was like 500 people in the drum circle at NAMM, which is the music trade show. Mm -hmm. The last kid sitting there was sitting there just like you're sitting. And he just wouldn't leave, you know, because he was like, it's over. Right. He didn't want it to be over, He'd you know. He'd be the same way. <laughs> so you got a little bit of that in you, right? You just can't wait to play, and you love playing. That's all he does. That's all he talks about. That's all he talks about. All he talks about. All he wants to do. All he want to do is play yeah. the drums. He would be, if he, if he could play drums all day long and do music I, all day, he'd be happy. I draw, I draw mushroom head pictures, too. Oh, yeah. I've seen some of that. Yeah. Yeah, on your side, you got some artwork. That's he, fantastic. He loves these guys. I mean, they're the world to him. Okay, how did you hook up with them and meet them originally? Well, when Mushroomhead came and he came to see the first one, and I was excited, they say, hey, you want to play um, drums with us? And we said, yeah. And they say, you want to play with us? And I said, yeah. Wow, and you just got right up that day? Hmm? Like, you came to see them, and you liked them, and they're like, just come up and play with us. You know how everybody's dream to go see their favorite band and go play on stage, and you're living it, and you're eight. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. But that's the first that's, time I was really, really. You were nervous. Yeah, but now it's like you're just excited and kind of the adrenaline. He was a little nervous at the Halloween show too, just because oh, of the, the how big it was. That was a big show. And, yeah. you Talk know. about the big show you played at Halloween in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. well, how did that work that, out? That was. Good because I I've been practicing before I've I've been really practicing. He likes to get the crowd involved. Uh huh. So yeah, Last see time. that's what I'm talking about the performance aspect. Well, I guess you play some heavy music. My mom says you wear the earplugs because you're well everybody's vulnerable, especially up there. So safety first, huh? So tell the kids out there to just make sure they're safe. You play your drums at home. What do you wear? Headphones. You wear headphones too. Yep. Okay. When you're up here, where do you wear? Earphones. Okay. Right. Why? Because 
<laughs> because it's safe. You want to protect your hearing right. for later, so you can enjoy music. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. All right, you got any tips for me to play anything? Uh, any, can you show me some flair? Like your follow through? Yeah. You have Let a me get out of the way so you can You have a flare. little patented follow through? I mean, we're going to see it on stage. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and you're humming as you play. Oh, the accents were beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me thank you very much. Thanks for having me out today. All right, I look forward to seeing you play. First interview. Yeah, your first interview. Congratulations, man. You earned it. We interview only the best, so. And do you know about I know a bit about drums. Yeah, I play. You know, I talk to drummers all day. Well, not all day, but you know, right. quite a bit. Right. Quite a bit. So what is your favorite Mushroom Head song? Like, with all the albums? All the albums. Uh, the first one, 1995. Simpleton. You mean yeah. 93? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, is it Second Thoughts. Yeah. Ego. ego trip. Yeah, I like that song a lot too. Ego trip. Did he say ego trip? Ego he always trip. says ego. Yeah. Like Lego, my ego trip. So, I don't know. You want to ask me a question? How about you ask me a question now? How is work? Work was awesome. Had a great time. How was uh, how was hanging out at home today? Good. Yeah. Play with friends. Play with friends. Oh, on the Xbox. Well, listen, they're gonna open the door. So, thanks for my interview with you. Ooh. You want to do the rock lock? Oh, yeah. Bow, bow. Got it.